Question eight is a nice question here. We've got a condition. 4% of the population have the condition, but the others don't. So 96% don't have the condition. But there's a test for the condition, and the test might be positive or negative. But it could be positive or negative if you don't have the condition as well. And if you have the condition, 90% of it will part will be positive, but there'll be some mistakes, just a 10% mistake there. Uh, if you don't have the condition, then yeah, a handful of times it will get it wrong. So I'll put a 0 0.2 here, but almost all the time, 98%, it will correctly tell you that you haven't got it. Let's work out the probabilities on the end by timesing along. So there's the probabilities on the end. Find the probability that the test is negative. The test is negative is this one and this one added together. So we've got 0 0.9448 is the probability of the test being negative. Um, a doctor randomly selects a person from the population and tests them for the condition. Given that the test is negative, so we know we're negative, find the probability that they do have the condition. So that's that one. So this is 0 0.004 out of 0 0.9408. Um, so that's tapping into the calculator, 0 0.00425. So if you test negative, you're really unlikely to have it, haven't you? Um, comment on the effectiveness of the test. Well, I mean, it's really good at identifying people that don't have it. Let's just do that the other way around as well. What's the probability of having the condition given that you test positive? So given that you test positive, that's that one and that one. And what's the probability that you have the condition is we want that one. So let's work out what this gives. I'll tap that into the calculator. So if you test positive for it, only 65% of people would actually have the condition. So, so about 35% would be false positives. Um, so it's quite a large number. You'd be sort of giving, worrying for no reason at all that they test positive, but actually they don't have it. So false positives is an interesting study.